Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome back to Broman Rhapsody. This is where we review cars and motorcycles. I'm the host for your motorcycles and the punk does the cars. Today, we are at Indian Motorcycle Greensboro, and that's Isa. Hi, everybody. All right. And what do we have today, Isa? Today, we have the 2021 Indian Springfield Dark Horse. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about the bike. I'll show you some of the features, we'll do a walk around, and I'm going to take it out on the road, share my thoughts with you guys, and talk about the cost of ownership. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's me, it's your boy Bro, and I am your Bro Man. <laughs> Uh, thanks for having us here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, and can, what can you tell us about the Springfield Dark Horse? Well, uh, this is a badass bike, I tell you. I love the style. I love the color it is. It's all blacked out. Really the regular badass. Springfield is a more of a throwback look, a more chilled out, yes, yes. Chilled out look to it. It's, a, it's a more kind of a uh, more classic style looking. This is a little bit more modern looking. Yeah, uh, you with have, the slammed um, saddlebags yes, that you get. Uh, you have a modern style saddlebag. Yeah. Uh, very roomy for just about anything that you want to put inside. And this, and since this is a dark horse, this comes with the 116, the Thunderstroke 116. This one Thunderstroke 116, 1890 cc engine. So this is this bike's got some pickup and go, man. This will really. Uh, shoot you down the street like nothing you've yeah. ever seen before yeah and you know what i really love about the dark horse is just this minimalistic look that it's got going on like just the handlebars like those very, are like the mini very ape hangers true. very with true the blacked out styling it just but, looks minimalistic yet this looks like something that you could have so much fun with oh you can have a lot of fun with it i mean you just get out there just get on and get out there and ride i mean the, the looks that you're going to get from people as you ride down the road is just incredible. They're going to be in envy and awe of you riding down the road in this, on this beautiful, gorgeous bike. It's so simple, as Broman has said, it's so simple. There's not much to it, no windshield, you got mini eight handlebars, and uh, a nice 2-in-1 rogue seat which is very very comfortable no yeah, and speaking of that seat the rogue seat that you just mentioned this is the same seat i have on my 2020 roadmaster mm -hmm. and this seat you guys is super comfortable you can you don't feel anything you can sit in it so comfortably and chill and it's got this little cut here that gives you a decent amount of backrest and yes, back support as yes, well definitely so this is a great looking bike and let me ask you a question yes. uh, so this is a dark horse and mm -hmm. since it doesn't come with the windshield and all of those i'm assuming if someone bought this and they and they wanted a windshield and all of those they probably could get those yes yes uh you you can definitely get uh, any type of accessories for this, a windshield, you can get driving lights, uh -huh. um, sissy bar with a backrest for your spouse or partner, um, floorboards for, these have pegs, but you can also change them out to floorboards. floorboards. You can um, have a rear crash bar if you want to. Rear crash bar, yes sir. Yeah. You can do you can do just about just anything about with this bike that you want to do. And then comes the biggest, the next question, the fun question, right? performance like if i bought this bike and i wanted this and, and i wanted more performance out of it i could probably go the stage one and stage two route with this bike yes so yes definitely you can do a stage one which is change out the pipes and the air intake or the stage two and add uh, the cams the cams yeah and that will give you more torque and horsepower right torque and it's gonna sound torque. loud and badass and all of that right yes yes definitely, definitely i mean not that this bike needs any more help looking badass but that'll just make it even better and even that's gonna drive home the point that this is a badass bike that you're riding can you tell my viewers a little bit about indian motorcycle greensboro uh indian motorcycle of greensboro we've been here for about seven years we've been here since 2014 we're a family-owned company so we try to instill in our well, to our customers, we treat you like family. Uh, where 
an Indian motorcycle and Polaris slingshot dealer, and we have a lot to choose from. So when you come in here and see what see our selection, uh, we have something for everybody. They, the staff here is very knowledgeable. They're very friendly, and they they treat you like family. And if you come down to Indian Motorcycle Greensboro, I'll put their website in the video description below. Just tell them the Broman sent you. Hey, Isa, thanks for all of this wonderful information and having us here. But do you know what time it is? Yes, it's right o'clock. So go on, go on and get out of here. Oh, thank you. And it's right o'clock indeed. So I'll see you guys out there. This does not have the valence fender. This has the more modern chopped up fender. What's the rake angle, you ask? Well, if you draw a perpendicular from the steering mount and then you follow the fork tube, that angle is your rake angle. Shorter the rake angle, the more nimble the bike, and the larger the rake angle, the more stable at higher speeds and such. This has a 25 degree rake angle. And looking around, man, this has the beautiful matte black finish. You have the slammed saddlebags here. These saddlebags are similar to the ones that you get on the Roadmaster and the Chieftain. Open them up, they're big and spacious. You can remove these saddlebags if you don't want them to. These are the two bolts that you got to remove uh, they, they take they both take the six millimeter allen key on the rear you have the two exhaust pipes on both sides then you have those two lights they are your turn signals and your tail lights and this bad boy has the 116 it also has the oh shit handle so it's for your passenger and they could grab onto something i guess but why would they grab onto something and not the rider Hmm, interesting. I don't have a fairing, I don't have a windshield, none of that here. What I have are these beautiful teardrop mirrors that you get on these, all of these Indian motorcycles. On the left hand side you have the horn, passing lights, high beams, turn signals and if you press it in that's your hazards. On your right you still have, you get the teardrop mirror, your kill switch start stop and the cruise control. As for the center stack here, you get your fuel gauge. Uh, that's your power button and this right here is your speedometer with a little digital display here and that gives you a lot of information there beautiful matte black finish you again have two gas caps this is for symmetry this is not functional this is the real one and then you have these two switches here the one on your right is for is this is for the central lock of your saddlebags and the one on your left is for heated grips this does not come standard with heated grips but you could add those there and if you look here there is a little blank spot and that's where you'd have the switch for your driving lights now to turn on the bike there are two ways you can do it you could either press the power button on see the bike comes to life or you could go to the kill switch press it down to the on and then press it in like you were trying to start it and boom you can turn it on that way as well. Now on this little gauge here, you, this is your speedometer and you have lights here for high beam, air messages, left turn signal, ABS, neutral, tire pressure, right turn signal, check engine, and kickstand light. And then you have the little screen here that has information. How do you toggle through the screen, right? Well, there are two triggers. The, there's one up here on the left hand side and there's then there's one here on the right hand side if you press the trigger on the left side it's going to toggle through the menu options here trip one meter trip two your that's your digital tachometer we are neutral and zero right now uh, your voltmeter outside temperature fuel economy fuel range and your odometer and it also gives you the time down below cool this this bike also has a riding mode tire pressure system and the cylinder deactivation how do you get, do that well, pull the trigger on the right side, you get the tire pressure for your front tire, the tire pressure for the rear tire, then your ride modes, press and hold it, that brings you the options, tap the right button again, it's standard, tour, port, press and hold it, it should go back there, tap it once again, so that cylinder deactivation, press and hold it, it's at off, I can turn it to on, and that's it. And cylinder deactivation is, this bike will shut off the rear cylinder uh, when you're stopped at stoplights or traffic or whatever, so that'll give out less heat. This is an air-cooled engine after all, so that helps a lot. And this is the key fob for the bike. 
it says Indian motorcycle and the logo on one side and then you have the lock and unlock button on the other side these are to lock and unlock your saddlebags <laughs> all right then let's get started and uh, let's do our first test the handling test let's tell you a couple of u-turns and see how easy it is to do some u-turns in this guy haha -ha. yeah not bad at all not bad at all which means it's time for a second test the pull test <laughs> That's the 116 Thunderstroke in all its glory. All of the 120 pound feet of torque and that 89, 90 odd horsepower comes together. This is so much fun. <laughs> all right, first impressions then. Well, I don't have a fairing, I don't have a windshield, so I'm getting a lot of wind. Uh, I have these ape hangers here. I'm not used to riding a motorcycle with ape hangers, so it's a little different feeling. <laughs> but it's okay, I guess. Ha, we'll get used to it. This is an 800 pound bike, 57 inch wheelbase. It's quite low. It's easy to flat foot both sides. I'm 5'10 with 31 inch inseam. This is a very well balanced bike. It's not top heavy, it doesn't want to topple one way or the other, it stays quite upright and quite straight. <laughs> now check this out, there's a little ridge on top of your uh, headlight. It looks like uh, the sights on like your old school rifles and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a neat little touch there. <laughs> now, since I don't have a windshield or a fairing or anything like that, I'm getting a lot of wind on my upper body, arms, legs, torso, all of that, but that's to be expected. There is no wind protection here. Um, on nicer days like today, or even on warmer days, this should feel just fine. I mean, you'd be just cruising around and getting all that wind, <laughs> you'll be just fine. Um, but I'm assuming that this is not going to be a lot of fun if you're riding in the colder days and cold weather. If you plan to do that, I suggest getting a windshield. <laughs> All right, let's see how this puppy turns. Oh yeah, balance is not an issue. We still have it in sport mode. Can we change the modes on the fly? Yeah, we can, but to activate it, you have to close the throttle so once you do that that gets into your next mode <laughs> cool right now in touring mode this bike is like a touring bike the throttle isn't as responsive or twitchy so you can tour and chill along and experience the, <laughs> the bike now the seating position well it's a comfortable seating position ape hangers yeah but I'm seated quite comfortably here the seats are awesome and uh, yeah, uh, you gotta reach out, but my feet are comfy here. And yeah, it's it's a good seating position. And this Thunderstroke via this Thunderstroke 116 does an awesome job of the power delivery and being smooth with the chugga chugga chugga. I love it. I really really do. Now this is also once the bike starts moving, it's quite responsive to your inputs. If you want to lean or flick, not quite flick it around, but it's quite responsive. <laughs> well, can this bike be your daily commuter? Oh, yeah, it could be. It's quite comfortable. It's uh, smooth. Doing You could be doing 45 or 75. It's still very smooth. Uh, you have a ton of storage space in those land saddlebags. Uh, the suspension is awesome. So yeah, this could be a great daily commuter. You would be arriving in style. <laughs> uh, now, is this a good bike for touring? Yeah, it is. This is a touring motorcycle. Uh, now, it does not have a lot of wind protection, yeah. But you could add a windshield um, as an accessory from the Indian website. So uh, if you add that, I'm assuming it's going to be great. 
for touring as well and for the same reasons the suspension is really really good and uh, the, so is the engine the transmission all of that and the seating position is very comfortable I love the rogue seats um, and once you get used to the ape hangers it's not bad at all yes sir let's try out the cruise feature uh, cruise on at 65 yup set haha <laughs> here's my hand so my hands out on the gas I'm cruising along now at 65 just chilling and chugging along chugga 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 yeah <laughs> and check this out 6th gear 2400 rpms 2500 rpms and just chilling along at 65 <laughs> and I can also increase or decrease my speed uh, using the cruise control just like a car uh, that's very neat that's very neat so is this a good beginner bike um no <laughs> uh, well this is a heavy bike uh, 800 pounds or so this does put out a lot of power uh, it's, it has a thunderstroke 116 that's putting out what 120 foot pound of torque that's a lot of power and it's uh, about eighteen thousand nineteen thousand dollars so yeah combined all of those factors combined this is not a good beginner bike at all no 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 well this is the part where I would have usually said let's head back to the punk and wrap up this video but you know the punk has been MIA we sent him to find a few cars for the videos and he was mad that I'm doing my motorcycle videos and he's not doing his, but I don't know, he's either pouting or he's MIA. But either way, the show must go on, so let me take a shot at this. So let's talk about the cost of ownership. Well, you would need to get a service done every 5,000 miles, and the service at your local Indian dealer should cost you about 260, and you, the tires would last you about 10,000 miles, a lot of it would depend upon how you're riding it but on average it should get you close to 10,000 miles a set of tires front and back is about 500 bucks so assuming that you ride 5,000 miles a year over a two-year period you would need two services and a set of new tires that's about a thousand and twenty dollars total divided by the number of days it's about 1.4 dollars a day Let's assign it a score, shall we? Well, this bike, on the looks, it's a 9 out of 10. On the prop, it's an 8 out of 10. On the maintenance, it's an 8 out of 10. And on the comfort, it's an 8 out of 10. For a combined Broman score of 8.25 out of 10. Yeah, the Springfield Dark Horse is a nice muscular looking cruiser. It's minimalistic in its design, but it's still plenty powerful and it looks really good you can get a ton of accessories for this and you could accessorize it to your own liking is this the bike for you well go to your closest indian dealer and take it out for a spin check out indian motorcycle greensboro in the video description below if you come here to check out their bikes, tell them the bromance sent ya. <laughs> and mad shout out to Monty and Isa for this bike. Uh, keep your knees in the breeze and I will see you next week. Bro out.